Howdy folks, how we doing today? Hope everybody's doing wonderful. Look here, I got my little helper in here today. She couldn't stand it. She was beating down the door, boy. She wanted to get in here and see what was going on. Boy, she has sat here. I got a little chair here beside me. <coughs> she will sit in that daggum chair <coughs> and watch me for hours. Look here. Y'all, <coughs> sorry about that. I've showed a few of these jigs before, but look at that. No, I don't think I've really tied one. I've showed them, but look at that, y'all. I call that the crappie magnet, y'all. The crappie magnet. This, <clears throat> I started tying these several years ago. I'm going to tell you something. A lot, of not, a lot of people just hadn't really, you know, started fishing with them or, or really don't like them or hadn't tried them, but I'm going to tell you something. I have a ton of luck with these song guns right here. I have caught a ton of fish on them, y'all. And I use the silicone skirt material because that rubber, over the years, that rubber will get brittle, you know, and it's bad about sticking together. And I have some of these tied with a silicone that I've had for, they, I've had some setting in the sun for months outside. And they the same way as this one is right here. It's a different type of action in the water, y'all. And I'm telling you, I have caught a ton of crappie. Thing about it is, I've caught a lot of bass on them too, man. Bass, uh, they're good, they good for bluegill, they're good for crappie, just about anything. That's an all-around type jig, y'all. But I'm going to tell you, I have smoked down the crappie with them. It's called a crappie magnet, y'all. And man, I've got tons of that, that silicone stuff. So basically, any color you can imagine, just like the Chanel, just like the paint, by golly, they got it. So today, I am going to show y'all how to tie that. We're going to use a, uh, see if I have it. No, I don't have a round head just right here in front of me. So... We will use, hey, yeah, I do. I got a round head or I got the wedge head, hatchet head. I'll tell you why. We'll tie this sucker with a hatchet head. It's the same, same process. So let's do that. You know what? Let me tie that bad boy down a little bit. All right. <clears throat> That's a, uh, uh, that is a one sixteenth head. Uh huh? Got a number four uh, red sickle hook. All right. We're going to tie that sucker with Danville 210 Blaze Orange, y'all. All right. Let me get my little handy dandy deal out of the way. Start wrapping. Have your little tagline. Follow that tagline down, y'all. Whoop, doo doo doo. We're going to follow all the way to the tip of our hook. Then we're going to come all the way back to the base of our head. Take our handy dandy little scissors. Cut that tagline off, y'all. All right, now. Man, I, I'm telling you, they, they make so many colors of this silicone now. It's unbelievable. They make uh, solid colors, and then they make the mixed colors as well. So, <clears throat> you see how it comes, the end, you know, it's all together. So, it's pretty handy. So, what we're going to do, I can actually count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. I got eleven right, eleven right there, y'all. Look at that. All right. <clears throat> we'll fold that bad boy right in half. You can use, you know, depending on your hook size, you know, eight to eight to twelve. All right. So we fold it in half, right? We're gonna go ahead and cut it everywhere we fold it in half. Cut our little loops, okay? Then we're gonna go to the bottom. Everywhere that is is melted together. 
We gonna cut that off, y'all. We want we want that sucker to be uh we want all the movement we can get. We are going to wrap that around just like we would do. Well hold up. You know what? Let me set that to the side. Cause I forgot one major thing. Y'all know how I am about my flash, y'all. We are going to put a piece of orange flash in there. We can't go without that. We can, but I'm going to tell you, that little streamer right there has done me right over the years, and I do not want to leave it out. I'm telling you, I have had <clears throat> more fish. Whether they nibble at that thing or they're chasing that flash, I don't know, because I don't have a camera under the water, but I'm going to tell you something. It really does make a difference, y'all. It really honestly does. All right, we're going to take that. It's very stretchy. All right. <clears throat> they make it in rubber and silicone, but we I, I, I like the silicone because it holds up in the sun and it lasts a lot longer. We wrap that bad boy around just like... <clears throat> We do our Chanel, all right? Now, it's gonna be a little bulky, and you're gonna have to, uh, you put you some pressure on it because you are tying that, you know, to your base layer thread, right? And you can tie that. You may have to tie a little further back, and it just depends on how you want your daggum, if you want it to stick out or you want it to lay down. All uh, right, that depends on how far back on the hook you're going to tie it. All uh, right, <clears throat> so I want mine to kind of stick out, you know what I mean? So and if you notice this, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have a little hump right here. You see what I'm saying? But that's not going to hurt nothing. As long as you get it tied in to that base layer, it is not hurting, not one thing, because you can do one or two things, all right? You can fill that up with thread, all right? What I'm doing right now is I'm just covering up every little piece of that, all right? You can do one or two things. You can cover it up with thread, or you can even out that body with your Chanel, okay? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to even it out with our Chanel, y'all. All right. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. We're going to use that Slab Slayer Chanel. That's some good stuff, y'all. I'm telling you. I got a video. Uh, I cannot wait to show y'all. That's what you hear in the background. That's one of my one of my cameras over there, y'all. That sucker is going crazy. I got it plugged in, downloading. Y'all had to see this video. So I had to go to the Texas Park Wildlife today. And uh, on the way back, I stopped and I hit a little pond. Ooh -wee. I had one rod and reel and I had one jig head. Wait till you see the video. Anyway, let's get back to this thing here. Uh, we just tied our Chanel in like we normally do. We stripped it back down to the thread, and we tie that bad boy in. All right, we'll roll that to the front. You notice I didn't put any crystal flash in there? You can, but it actually kind of hinders the movement of your silicone, and, and that's the reason I don't put it in there. All right, so we're gonna start wrapping that bad boy. All right, we're gonna put one wrap, all right, you can see where it was humped up, okay? Once you get off of that hump, you're going to have to put two wraps to make it even, y'all. Oh, yeah. Shoot, sure, yeah. So we put one wrap where we start, and we wrapped about halfway up the shank of that hook. Then about halfway up, we put two wraps. That way our body is nice and even. Uh, anytime you put that rubber skirt material in there, you're going to have that hump, but it's not hurting nothing as long as you, you know, <clears throat> make up for it with your, um, 
with your body material. And you see, I'll show you when I'm done, how I made up for it. And that sucker is nice and even, y'all. And I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> a lot of people, when I first started tying that jig, some of my good fishing buddies, some of my partners, you know, that fish with all the time, they say, Dustin, man, you're crazy. You come up with some stuff now. But look, I kid you not. The first daggum one I tied like this, the very first one, we uh, we go out to Rissling Chambers. I I had about ten. Well, let's just say a dozen. I had about a dozen of them tied up with these. I call these silly legs. All right, it's just skirt material, silicone skirt material. I had about a dozen of them tied up. <clears throat> And uh, we started chunking jigs. Some people were fishing with minnows. There was like seven or eight of us. Woo! Within about 30 minutes, I done caught my 25, y'all. I'm telling you what. Every one that I had, them son of a guns took from me. Look at that, y'all. God almighty, look at that. So now, you can once you get it tied up, you may have to move some of your skirt material, you know, around on the other side of the hook but look at that look at the action you get out of that y'all see how it's pooped up golly man i'm telling you them crappy they love it y'all so if you if you tying jigs and you want to try something different try that out i'm telling you what i guarantee you crappie love it y'all i fish with them all the time Ah, right, you can go a step further too. You can put you a piece of, uh, you can put you some marabou in there. You can put you a piece of, uh, you can put you some uh, neck hackle. That neck hackle will stick out, you know, and it'll kind of hinder the movement of it, but you'll still have it, you know, on the on a hook side. So you can basically you can put bucktail with it, whatever you want to do, guys. I mean, it's it's strictly up to you. But me. I think my favorite way to tie it is just like that, just with a skirt material. Ooh, we it drives him crappie crazy, y'all. It's just the movement of it. It's you know, it's it attracts a lot, a lot of fish, y'all. Golly Moses. Hey look, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna go fishing, I'm gonna make a video, and we're gonna see how this bad boy catches. Look, guys and gals, I sure appreciate y'all watching. God bless each and every one of y'all. I will put everything that I use, you know, for material in the video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out, guys and gals. We call this a crappie magnet, y'all. I'm going to tell you, that's what it is. It brings them bad boys in. Look, we'll see y'all next time, guys and gals. Appreciate it.